Hey guys, just want to jump on here before you see this video and tell you that this video is a little out of order of our normal videos. Of course, our normal videos are behind a little bit, um, but this one is jumping several videos ahead and we wanted to bring you this adventure because we're excited about it. And if you really want to know where we are at this moment, you can check out our Patreon link below. So enjoy the video guys, and then after this, we'll be right back to our normal scheduled program. Our videos are normally in a series of how they happen. This is what everybody else does it in. This is what we do in it. Not saying it's bad or good, just saying that's possible. Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Charlie. We are the Adventure Closet. And we have some really exciting news today. We are on our way to meet some friends that have been such an inspiration to us. And uh, I don't think I'm going to give them away just yet, but you'll see. Welcome to the Adventure Closet. I'm Liz and this is Charlie. We are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder. We're all over the map, exploring wild and abandoned places, discovering rocks, geology, and history of different areas, all while living and traveling in our minivan Opal. I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. sign over there says Vermilion Cliffs. Beautiful right there. A very small cactus needs our help. The area behind the sign is closed to vehicle travel to protect the Brady pincushion cactus that grows along these canyon rims. Hiking the canyon rims is encouraged, but please step carefully. It's not like us to be social butterflies. We're usually far out in the boonies with just each other for company. This adventure, however, is just a little different than the others. We didn't know it at the time, but we were on our way to making some of the best new friends we could ask for. Dave and Carrie welcomed us with open arms into their camp out in the wild and scenic Marble Canyon in Arizona. We've been watching their travels on YouTube for some time now, so it was really great to hug and shake hands, plus petting Rudel was at the top of our list. We also met Sue and Ed, self-proclaimed pirates, as they sailed the world for 14 years before joining van life.
So we're at this really amazing camp spot that Dave and Carrie found um, in Rudel. They're camped just up there. And they're having dinner and we're gonna go for a little walk and explore the area. And it, it's really windy up there. Yeah, a lot less windy down here. Cover of the hill. When it's windy, we gotta put the solar panels flat on the ground like that. But charging up the GoPro batteries is gonna make an awesome video today. So we've been itching to meet these guys for a long time. We've been watching their channel. You guys have, are, well, actually, introduce yourselves. Who are you guys? What is your channel? I'm Dave. I'm Carrie. This is Rudel. And we are one adventure at a time. And this is our home, Stormtrooper. We've been on the road four years full time. And the thing that we like to do is find remote, out of the way, free camping. And hidden gems. Yep. <laughs> we have found a lot of our good spots from these guys. <laughs> Great channel to watch. Definitely give them a subscribe. Watch their videos from beginning to end. Like, comment, all that good stuff that you guys do for us. So when we got here last night, uh, and we finally got to meet Dave and Carrie and Rudel in person and it was so awesome. We talked through the night. It was so cool to talk to um, other YouTubers that kind of understand the ins and outs and they've been doing it a lot longer than us. They've been on the road for four years so they've had a lot of cool experiences. We got to kind of trade stories and uh, that was just so much fun. They're really great people. But um, Carrie also showed me this rock. She held out this little rock and she's like, I think I found a geode. And sure enough, she did find a geode. So me and Charlie went out as it was getting dark and we found a few geodes out there. She was spot on with that. So um, today we're going to go out, all of us, and do some geode hunting. They have some friends coming. We're just waiting for them to arrive and uh, it's gonna be a good day out there. So come along, let's do some rock handing. Can I do the Michael Jackson? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I found the honey hole. Look at that. <laughs> There's some little guys there. Good 
Nice. Nice. Right on top of the rock layer. Oh my goodness. Look at all those. This audio is going to be garbage. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely have a big one right there. Let me see. Oh yeah, I think that's a geode. Yeah? That's a good size one. Sweet. Check that one out. Hey! Hi. Nice job. These spherical stones can be found all along the Colorado River. Although some were geodes, which we thought they all were at first, some were not. There's several theories about these certain anomalies called Moki marbles and how they were formed. But this one is our favorite. These concretions are quite similar to those found on Mars, and it is believed that tiny microbes help the process of the formation from sandstone to marbles. This has scientists believing that there could once have been life on Mars. Or maybe it was just erosion from the Colorado River. You decide, but for us, we choose aliens. Check that nodule out, babe. On that rock. Oh, yeah. Wow. Do you think that there's actually crystals in it, though? It could just be, you know, like a, um, just a nodule of basalt. Rhyolite. Rhyolite, yeah. This is rhyolite or sandstone? I mean, it kind of, it has that sandstone look, but it's got bubbles in it, like rhyolite would. So I don't, I'm going to guess that it's rhyolite, but I don't know. Okay. So we're going to check the washes. Oh, okay. Figured we were headed downhill. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Some there's a lot of questionable tough. ones. Yeah. Perfectly round. Oh, it looks like it could be like a, kind of like a quartz, just like a more of a milky quartz in there. That's cool looking though. It's got embedded in yeah. there, huh? So a geode is, it's a gas bubble in lava. So imagine a lava flow and then there's a gas bubble and then over millions of years, um, minerals and water seep in there and it starts forming all these crystals. Yeah, they fill so, in the bubble. Yeah, so, so it's like a, a lava bubble. That's a, a yeah. lava bubble. A lava cool. bubble, yeah. Awesome. It makes it sound cooler. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it is so infectious being around other people that are passionate about rocks. Um, just hearing people saying, ooh, look what I found, and just running to each other, showing each other their cool rocks they found. Oh, that's an awesome one. Nice job, Dave. Oh, wow. The most people we've had in the van. Yeah. Five people and two dogs. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Dave and Carrie, for hosting. Yeah. Our pleasure. Thanks for so nice to meet you, Lisa. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> That's a good perspective because Rudel gets to be front and center. Oh, yes, and Rudel. We can't forget Rudel and Prince. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> He's all glowing He's in the sun. <laughs> Yeah, so put that out there. And you get one million because oh, you Oh, so I one. get some money. Yeah. So if I do this, I take two more cards. Roll it up, huh? Okay. And then I can put cash down. I can only play three cards. Yeah. So I put yeah. cash down. That's one. You got one more play. I'll see some crew stuff. 
Dave had a great idea that we attempt to hike down the Badger Creek Canyon to get to the alluring Colorado River. We got up bright and early, made sure that we had plenty of water, and Carrie was so kind to drive me, Charlie, Dave, and Lisa to the trailhead in their van Stormtrooper. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm Charlie. I'm Lisa. I'm Dave. And we're going on an adventure today. We're going to hike down Badger Canyon. Badger Canyon all the way to the Colorado River. Let's do all it. All right, let's go. The canyon was jaw-dropping as we weaved and climbed the water-carved path. It was a geological wonder down there, really. There's geodes all through this wall here. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've reached the fossil layer and there's some, some crinoid right here and here. Right there, look at those. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Nice. Oh, that is. We're all oh, there. look yeah. at that one. Right, right there. As big as that. That's nice too. Yeah. That's so cool. So we're kind of in the heat of the day. It's almost midday around here. And it's kind of nice that the sun's casting shadows in different parts of the canyon. So it feels really cool. It feels like probably 10 degrees cooler right here versus over there. It's a bit warmer, but otherwise it's an easy going hike. Uh, we've been kind of on the bedrock here, as you can see. So kind of easy to travel. It's really cool seeing the, the layers of history here. Just different layers in the rock. It looks completely different on this side too. Oh boy. How's it look? There's a pool down there. Um, a pool? Yeah. A pool of water? This looks like you might need rope. But oh wow! I don't even want to get close to it. Yeah, you don't. Come on over on this side. Oh, oh there's the way down, right? Yeah. yeah it looks like there's a way down, oh, but uh, it looks so like brave. there's a landing right here. Uh, it also looks like we're gonna hit more of that. <laughs> yes. How are we gonna get out? Oh my gosh! Let me just check it out real quick. Look at this way down. It's just one waterfall drop off after another. That is crazy. I'm thinking there's a way down though. Yeah. We're just going to have to go down and study it. And well, there's there's a way to step up right here too. So I think we're good on at least this oh, portion. Oh yeah, I see a step. So this one's good. That is gnarly looking. This is an adventure. It just goes right on down. It's like a giant stairway. I'm worried about that last drop that I see. I'm glad we already saw some people down there. Yeah. That makes me think it's possible. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, we're done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Time to turn around. <laughs> Definitely. These little stalactites and stalagmites just growing together under there. And then this beautiful pool. Oh, 
sand. But I wonder how deep that guy is. <laughs> yeah, well, that'd be hard to get out without a rope. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that would be a great place for a snake to sit. <laughs> let me uh, let me look around some more. Okay, Charlie's checking around some more to see if we can get down from here. So we're a little bit clipped out here. We're assessing. Uh, Dave and Charlie are gonna go inspect a gate my favorite word that I made up, uh, to see if we can uh, kind of finagle our way down a little further. We don't have helmets or rope. If you are doing this hike, I would recommend that. Um, or just, you know, come as far as we have. We've probably gone about maybe a half mile into the canyon and it's really beautiful and worth coming in. <laughs> this is so fun to climb on, though. Mm -hmm. If I go down there, if you go down there, I could help you up and help me up. Yeah. But I can't help you up if you go past that. <laughs> You're on your own, Dave. <laughs> All right, Dave's gonna try going down. <laughs> it's a little iffy. It is a little iffy. My foot. Well, these are usually really good traction, and I'm sliding. Yeah, I can see from this angle you don't have good footholds there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is a bit of a drop though. <sighs> Alright. All right. That wasn't bad, it wasn't too far. Down, down, down we go. Oh boy, that's what I just came down. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> it's way up there. Yeah, well, there's been people here before, but I think they were rock climbers. There's a we can see a rope up here, and which none of us are a climber, so probably not good to use a rope if it's. We don't know what we're doing. And we have to come back up, so there's no way out of the canyon. See, it's tied off here. It's got a pretty good hold. And here it goes. I can't even get to the edge of this. I mean, yeah, it's straight down undercut. It's real. It's a rappel and a drop. Fun. Yeah, you rappel and then you drop. I don't know how people do that. There, there ain't no way. That's um, it's about sixty feet down. Oh jeez! Wow. So I guess our our hike's over. But oh, this is still amazing. we gave it a heck of a shot. So Charlie's gonna help Dave get up that big ledge. It's probably taller than he is or as tall. And Dave's not a short guy. He's about Charlie's height. Oh yeah, that ledge is taller than you. Yeah, it's probably about eight feet. Oh, yeah, there's not a lot to... Maybe you so can hike your leg up as far as you can hike it and see if it'll yeah, if stay in that area. Mm. Yeah, just easy. Nice, oh. good job. You made that look easy. You did. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Yeah. I was nervous just watching you do that. <laughs> I started grabbing on the rock right here. <laughs> yeah, I think it was smart. We hit our limit and turned around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the best thing you can do. Think anybody was gonna make a 60 foot drop. <laughs> <laughs> that was level 10 fun until we got here though. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. I could ro uh, rappel a little bit, you know, maybe eight or 10 feet, but not 60 feet. That's, not 60, no way. <laughs> that's just climb up 60 feet. Yeah. I mean, I had to do it 
when I was in the army, but I was like crying and shaking the whole time. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I would have yeah. been too. <laughs> Yeah, our feet are probably small enough to fit in those little footholds. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was like, what's grabbing me? <laughs> <laughs> Snake! <laughs> yep, there's not much. Yeah. So we were just down there. That's where Dave jumped down. And now we're coming uh, around to get back up. So we found a way up. We're gonna shortcut from where we were there up there and we should be closer to the vans. <laughs> so we got dropped off just on the other side of the road here and we made it all the way down to right about here. And instead of having to go all the way back and then all the way back to camp, uh, we saved ourselves a little bit. Nice. We didn't save our breath though. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have come to another canyon that we didn't anticipate because we have to get over that way. What do you got? Got an, so cool. you got an arrowhead? But check that out, it sure looks like it. Oh, that is 100% an arrowhead. Oh, that's oh. awesome. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Heck yeah. Wow. Is that your face? Whoa. Nice job, made out of beautiful that's red cool. jasper. I think it was just fun finding it. Yeah. So. That is awesome. Back Good it goes. Eye. Back it goes. Somebody else is going to find it now. That's pretty cool. So we're watching out for these. These are a little pin cushion cactus. And they are endangered. So we're trying not to step on any. And respect the ground that they're in. But they're really tiny. They're hard to see unless you know what you're looking for. Nice piece of petrified wood we found. Liz just yelled, come here. Oh, she found an old car. Oh, wow. Wow. There's like 30. Oh yeah. It's pretty old. As you called me away. Oh, petrified wood. Nice. It's a nice piece too. Yeah. Beautiful. I wonder if it got dumped here or it drove here back in the day. Yeah, I don't know. Rudel's the welcoming committee. He came to say hi. Good boy. Oh, good job.
after a couple days of uh, being out there on top of the canyon with all of our new friends, we need to resupply a little bit. The ice is gone and water, we're down to like maybe a cup of water. So we're, you guys saw how rough the road was coming into this spot. Um, we're going to attempt now to get out of here. Hopefully we can. If we could get out of here, our goal is to come back. Um, everybody else needs ice back there, so we're on a wild adventure to see if we can get some ice and get back. Plus, we need showers, because I don't know if you can smell this from here. Yeah, uh, that hike yesterday was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be in the 90s tomorrow. Yikes. back on the road, back to camp. Uh, since we made it out okay, we're gonna head back. We've got a couple bags of ice in the cooler here. Somebody needed sunblock and we're gonna make it to them. Charlie's a professional rally car driver. Yeah, don't try that at home, kids. <laughs> Thank you to Dave, Carrie, and Rudel of One Adventure at a Time. Your hospitality and friendship was wonderful. We could never run out of things to talk about with you guys and loved hearing all your travel stories. We've left a link to your amazing channel down below so that our friends can come on over and meet you too. Can't wait to see you down the road. Bye for now, friends. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Yeah. We have made so many friends. Just taking the opportunity to go meet somebody new and yeah. um, this time will stay with us forever. That was so great. It was, it's such a beautiful place too and uh, great company. Uh, you know, it, it, was, uh, it was really nice meeting uh, Dave and Carrie. Yeah, 
and Rudel too, finally. Rudel, yeah. I've been wanting to pet him so bad. He's the cutest <laughs> puppy. Yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> I made a made a few new friends, and <clears throat> we'll be seeing them down the road for sure. Yeah, Lisa, Sue, and Ed. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, and now I guess it's on to the next adventure. Bye now. Bye now.